Hey, hello everyone and welcome in a new video. In the previous video, we spoke about uh, the Docker command line to use uh, dash dash volume. And in this video, we are going to, to see how to use the Docker volume command line. If you want to can subscribe to my channel to not miss the next video, you can uh, you can see the documentation about uh, Docker volume uh, with this URL. You can search it in uh, Google. Uh, and uh, in our case, what we want to do, we want to use Docker volume uh, CLI to create a volume on our laptop. So uh, bef before, just we can use Docker volume dash dash help and we have uh, some parameter about uh, this docker volume cli we, we can create to create a volume we can inspect to display uh, detailed information uh, some metadata about uh, our volumes we can list with ls uh, list our volumes we can prune to to remove all unused uh, volume uh, maybe installed in the previous uh, uh, docker run uh, we can use docker volume rm to remove uh, one or many volumes to start we just want to uh, list our volume we have uh, no volume and we want to create a new volume i use docker volume create and the name of our volume my volume so i can run again docker volume ls and now i have one volume if i want i can to find uh, some metadata about this volume with docker inspect and the name of our volume my volume and if i see i have the created uh, time here the the, ty the type of uh, the driver uh, if our case this is a local driver but we can use uh, nfs for example we can add some labels about uh, our uh, docker volume and very important this is the moon point this is where we store our data in our volume in our case the volume named my volume store uh, its data in slash var lib docker volumes and the name of my volume my volume and data directory the name of my volume some options if we add some option for example we can uh, use a volume uh, with a read only or read write option and the scope to use this volume we can use it with uh, the previous uh, the previous command line with our engine server so i can run docker uh, run dash d and i specify a name for this container uh, c1 for example and i want uh, to specify a volume with a dash v like in the previous video or dash dash volume the name of my volume my volume okay this is the name and i want to mount uh, this volume in slash usr share nginx and html maybe you can add uh, if you want to mount it uh, with read only option or read write and we just want to run it like it uh, i just expose the port on uh, 8080 uh, port la on our laptop and i want to mount, uh, uh, to expose the port 80 so i run it and now if i just want to check i can run a docker ps a docker ps yes we have our container and we can uh, just run a curl on 127.10.0.1 on port 8080 right um if you want we can uh, just run ls on var lib docker docker directory 
and the volume we can just because we have uh, a restricted permission we can just copy the moon point on our laptop and just run an ls here and what we see we have the content of our usr share engines html directory if you want to to check we can just attach uh, to this container with a docker exec exec i use ti to have a terminal into our uh, container and we want to connect to our container c1 and i want to run a bash into it if i check if I use df, we just we we don't see which uh, which volume is mounted into our container. But if we check with slash usr share and nginx html, we have the same uh, the same file into our container on and into our laptop. If I just run. Uh, a cat yes with index dash uh, dot html okay we have our file and if i go again into with sudo parameter because we just want to uh, do an escalation and we want to edit index dot html i use my password and I want to run it uh, to change engines to Xavki, like in the previous video. And if I run again my curl command, what we see, we have the welcome to Xavki. Okay. And if I just run again my Docker exec, and if I check with my cat command, I see the same thing because this is a simple uh, this is a simple mount uh, of this volume in uh, from our laptop in uh, our uh, container. Right, um, I think that's all for today. We just want to remove, of course, remove this container, and uh, we just list again. And to remove this container, we uh, can use a uh, docker volume rm and be careful uh, rm my volume sorry yes and we have of course we have an error because this volume is already in use in our uh, container and our container run so we need to remove this container before to remove the volume so to do it, I use docker rm-f to force the stop of our container and rm it. Of course, I remove it. If I check, we don't have any, uh, any we haven't uh, any container. And if we want, we can use docker volume rm to remove this container, uh, this volume, and we can run again docker volume ls we have no volume right so thank you for following this video and see you in the next one bye